All right, thank you, Michael. This Saturday is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, and the Drug Enforcement Administration wants to help you dispose of unneeded medications safely. Joining me now is the resident agent in charge, Mr. Eric Watson. Thank you for coming on today. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. So tell us about the event and why it's so important for people to get involved. So the DEA has been doing the Drug Take Back program now for about 10 or 12 years. We do it twice a year, October and April. It gives uh, our citizens uh, an opportunity to clean out the medicine cabinets, get out those expired medications, mm -hmm. particularly controlled medications, controlled narcotics, and gives them a, an easy way to, to dispose of them. It's kind of a service we provide to the community. Sure, and why is it important for people to do that? Is it to keep it in the, from getting so in the So many, so or? a lot of these drugs get ultimately get abused by friends, family members, stuff like that. Um, we see, you know, there's been a, an increase in, um, and the opioid abuse and a lot of these prescriptions just simply fall into the wrong hands and this is an easy way for people to get rid of them. So we do have the uh, uh, places listed on the screen here in just a moment, but it's gonna be tomorrow from 10 to two? Tomorrow from 10 to two, you know, locally we have them at the Elks Lodge, Safety Town, Dixie NPD, some locations over in East Texas as well. So how long have you guys been doing this and uh, how successful has it been? Um, we've been doing it for about 12 years. I think um, we do it nationwide. We've uh, We've picked up over 8,600 tons wow. of, um, I would like to say narcotics, but it's not. A lot of it is, you know, just other household medications that people wish to get rid of. Yeah, awesome. And uh, again, tell us uh, when it's going to start and how long. It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning, um, runs till about 2 o'clock. Several locations around the city, I think you have them listed. Um, one is the Elks Lodge, Safety Town, Dixie Inn Police Department, and I think Greenwood, Greenwood Police Department is participating. So be several locations people can drop off. Awesome. Mr. Watson, thank you so much for coming on. We Absolutely. It. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, sir. All right. Here's what's coming up here on KSLA News 12 this morning.